I'm going to show you the simple pulse and operation on a Nigerian dwarf goat, which we have here, and then on an alpine goat, so you can kind of see the differences between the two. First thing you want to do is clean your udder using your standard procedures. Now that our udder is clean, we're going to hook the system up to her. First thing you want to do is turn on your vacuum pump. Alright, I have the vacuum pump on, but I don't have all our hoses connected. So, this hose from the tank you will want to attach to one of your jars. The hose on your milking lines you'll want to attach to that same jar. You'll immediately hear the pulsator start clicking. You can look at your gauge at this point, but know that it will not be reading the full reading until it is on the goat. We personally milk our goats at around 12 inches of mercury. Dawn is ready, the milk is ready. We're going to attach our lines. Because we have the claws on here, you can milk one teat or both. the inflations are attached to the goat, milk will start flowing. At this point you want to note on your gauge what the reading is. It was reading higher than I would like, so I'm just going to turn our regulator counterclockwise to get to my desired reading. jar out of the box so you can see. As soon as the milk stops flowing, I gently massage the udder to make sure all of the milk is out. Once the animal is milked out, simply break suction by gently inserting your finger and removing the inflation. At this point I'll leave the simple pulse on as I have more goats to milk. On the bottom of the claws, press the buttons and that will evacuate all the milk from the lines into your jar. If your jar is full, you can swap out to another jar. If not, hang your lines up, get your next animal ready and milk them. Alright, next up is our Alpine. Our udder is already clean and we're ready to milk. Grab your inflations. Attach one at a time. With the bigger goats, I find it easy to just put the inflations straight back between their back legs. With the shorter goats, I go on the sides of the legs in the front at an angle. As soon as the inflations are attached, milking starts immediately. Again, until you're familiar with the system, make sure you're looking at your gauge with each animal you milk. Again, as Milk stops flowing, gently massage the udder, and then once again, gently insert your finger and remove the inflations one at a time. Once you're done milking, push those buttons, evacuate your milk from the lines, and hang the inflations up. All right, now that we're done milking, we're going to turn our vacuum pump off. We're going to deal with our milk, and then I'm going to show you how to clean the system.